each day um, leading up to Easter, we are looking at the seven sayings of Jesus on the cross. And today's saying is, it is finished. So reading from John 28, 30. Later, knowing that everything had now been finished and saw that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the high soap plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. These words mark the most poignant and yet triumphant moment of the Easter story. Jesus had been crucified and moments from his death. So what was his mission? It may be worth to, um, to provide you with a bit of background. So when Adam and Eve sinned, it resulted in mankind being separated from God. But God, because of his love for us, set out to restore that relationship by sacrificing his own son, Jesus Christ, as a payment for our sins. On one hand, God being just required that debt, debt of sin be paid. But on the other hand, God being the God of grace, planned to place that burden or that punishment on his son Jesus Christ on our behalf. So the story of the children of Israel throughout the Old Testament shows the outworking of God's plan to reconcile us back to him. God gave them the law in order to guide them until Christ came. So reading from uh, Galatians 3 verse 24. So the law was our guardian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. Also, they had to sacrifice animals in order to be forgiven their sins. This could only be done by a priest on their behalf. This was clearly a temporary solution as the sacrifices had to be repeated at intervals. So the debt of sin remained. And God revealed Christ through the prophets. There are more than a hundred prophecies about Jesus and his, and his mission. So fast forward to the cross. What did Jesus mean when he said it is finished? What did he accomplish? So one, he became the once and for all sacrifice for our sins. Reading from 2 Corinthians 5.21 God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him he might become the righteousness of God. So when Jesus said, it is finished, it meant that that debt on account of Adam's sin is finally and forever dealt with. Second, Jesus fulfilled the law. A reading from Matthew 5, 17 to 18. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but fulfill them. So Jesus came to reconcile us to God, to reopen that access to God that Adam and Eve once had. So when he died, the veil covering the entrance of the Holy of Holies or his dwelling place was torn in two from top to bottom, signifying that he had opened the door for us to come in and have a relationship with him. 
it is worth pointing out that when Jesus cried, it is finished, he meant that it was finished in the past, it is still finished in the present, and it will remain finished in the future. So what does it mean for us today? One, it means the power of sin has been broken. We don't have to live under the weight of condemnation, guilt or shame. And we are saved through faith. And we have the freedom to fellowship with him. We have no barriers anymore. We can come into his presence at any time. And the last point, in him we have a we have hope and a purpose. By his grace, he will lead us to fulfill our purpose in him. All this was made possible by Jesus dying on the cross. Indeed, it is finished.